This was one of my first digital artwork seven months ago. I didn't know how to use a tablet, do line art, paint, you know, the struggles of every new digital artist. And this wasn't gonna cut it because I had just dropped out of high school to pursue art as a career. Since then, I've been working hard to improve and this is how far I've come. But wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Go back to the beginning and see how I got here and how you can get here in less time than me. In the beginning, I didn't really have a plan. I was kind of all over the place, which is not a bad thing. The important thing is just to start. I've been drawing before this traditionally, but my fundamentals were still really weak. But what I struggle with most is I couldn't grasp the concept of painting. Using shapes and edges to convey things, not lines like you would in a drawing. Letting go of lines is actually the hardest thing to do. So. I decided to take on my biggest giant first. And I use the simplest way to learn, which is photo studies. Which, by the way, you can't avoid. They're like your veggies. Brings up an important beginner question, which is, what brushes should I use? I was told you only need the default hard round brush, but at first I didn't believe it. It actually turned out being true. Just make sure there's some pressure opacity on it and- I drop tool. Be your best friend. Now I couldn't stand painting for too long and I would burn out really fast because it was frustrating. Sure. I wanted to be a character artist so I knew understanding the human body was crucial. So I decided to do figure drawings. I love drawing so learning anatomy has never felt like a pain. But say on average I did a page of figure drawings a day so definitely nothing too crazy compared to what some other artists do. And when I felt ready to go back to painting, I would do so and basically repeat that cycle again. After struggling with painting and anatomy for the first couple of weeks, I decided to take on perspective drawings since I love dynamic drawing so much. I knew a character could sit in 3D space, but I really struggled to make it look like he was sitting in 3D space. Each piece I did focused on perspective, but here's where I went wrong and could have saved time. I would do my perspective studies, then I would do an original piece making the pose from my head and it would come out completely janky. Rather, I should have turned the studies I was doing into my pieces. Okay, for example, let's say you're struggling drawing hands and you're not good with composition. Instead, you should find a photo that uses hands as the main driving point of the composition. This way, you're looking at hands and composition at the same time and adding to your portfolio. Now, after learning painting, anatomy, and perspective, I had a small portfolio ready and the confidence to post on social media. I've been making steady improvement the past month, but this is where my art progress sort of took a dip. I fell into the social media trap. I thought I needed to post every day and if I didn't, I was lazy. So I would just quickly sketch something and color it without fixing anything, which didn't allow me to see any of the anatomy errors. I told myself it was just my style. I started doing fan art of shows that I didn't even watch just for likes. Into reels and TikToks, spending days upon days making them in hopes of blowing up. Which I'm glad I didn't blow up from that because it would have really stumped my growth as an artist. Because I wasn't making what I wanted, I was just making what I thought the algorithm wanted. I just wasted a whole month, decided to step up the quality of my work and take more time on each piece. What do you do when you want your things to look high quality? I don't know. Grab references. Earlier I mentioned turning your photo studies into pieces. But when you have your own original ideas and you don't want to copy something, you still need to use references. People don't really understand. It really makes or breaks your piece. Sorry to break it to you, but you're not Kim Jong-gi. Not saying you can never draw without reference. I do, and it's good to see how well you're attaining the stuff you're learning, but it's always a good habit to use reference. I also made the mistake of only searching for one reference because I didn't want to waste time looking for more. But what I didn't understand is the little time it took for me to find just one more reference that would make my piece go from here to here. My time on each piece really helped me to improve, but I was still far from who inspired me. Who is. So I decided to do a master study of one of my favorite pieces. This really opened my eyes on how to paint because I had to think exactly like him. When doing master studies, you don't really have to worry about 
anatomy perspective color theory because they've already paved out everything for you you just have to figure out how to get there it was the start of a new year and i didn't really feel like i had a style yet so i wanted to really focus this year on finding my style i was taking inspiration from tons of different artists each piece i drew literally looked like someone else was drawing it but it really helped me because studying artists is just as important as studying from real life I don't mean doing a full-on master study on them every time but just really paying attention to what they're doing and what draws you to their work whether it be the way they simplify clothing folds or the way they subtly use color i should also mention watching youtube helped a lot as well when it comes to educational videos there are definitely certain channels that are way better than others like marco bucci cynics naoki saito coax oro cg chala beginners should especially be eating their content up it's literally free it's so free as time went on, the amount of art I was making really started to slow down, but I was still improving and faster, actually. Every piece was made with the intention to improve. Did have some studies sprinkled in every so often, but really not that much. I was starting to realize that it's really quality over quantity when it comes to improving faster. And when I took the time to actively understand what I was doing instead of mindlessly copying what I see, whatever I was learning really cemented itself in my head. I get mileage is important, but if you just focus on mileage, it can become unhealthy. But when you focus on quality, not only are you more time efficient, but you burn out less and you're more mentally healthier and stable. All right, just so you know, I do not mean perfectionism, quality, but not perfectionism. Oh, now I'm sure you guys heard of this before, but perfect practice rather than practice makes perfect. Did I reach the goal of becoming like Guas? No. But I feel like maybe in a couple of months, I'll definitely be on his level, maybe even surpass <laughs> Anyways, I have a Discord if you guys want to talk and come hang out. It's free. Also, special thanks to this month's Patreon. Oh, wait. It's empty. If you want to consider supporting the channel and get awesome perks while you're at it, you can go ahead and consider joining the Patreon. You could get awesome perks like my high-res artwork, Q and A's, exclusive artwork, special Discord roles, monthly raffles, and more. That's patreoncom blue. Once again, that's patreoncom blue. Now back to you. And anyways, love you guys. Peace.